All right, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for finding us here for the Fox 26 Tropical Update. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Yes, we're here every day of hurricane season, bringing you the latest of what's happening, whether it's a super active time where we have hurricanes threatening landfalls, or if it's a bit of a day like today when things are a little quieter, not completely zero happening out in the Atlantic, but we're able to kind of catch our breath a little bit after a couple very busy weeks that we've seen and we're still in hurricane season and we still could see some more named storms, possibly even making some landfalls before this is all over with. So let's kind of dive into things just a little bit. This is the uh, area where the orange X is here. This is a, a pretty well defined low pressure system that's out in the Atlantic. Let me just sort of step over to show you it, it's way out there pretty close to the African coast still. So it's a bit of a ways from the US, but with some time you'll notice the, the orange line here indicating that not expecting anything to happen for the, a, a couple of days. But then as we get a little bit further down closer into the Caribbean, uh, we're talking from three to seven days from now. The National Hurricane Center is giving that a 40% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. So most likely we're talking about a tropical depression at this point in time. Now what happens after that? There's still a whole lot of question marks as far as would something develop here? Would it end up staying out into the Atlantic? Would it dive down and sort of stay in the Caribbean? All those are questions that just take time to sort of see things unwind just a little bit before we can kind of get those specifics. But because the Hurricane Center has labeled this as an area of invest, this is invest 94 L because they've done that. They've already got all those computer models running on this area and we're able to kind of plot those out just a little bit. And you can see that this isn't really all that wide. There's not a, a definite consensus, but overall, I mean, they're not just shooting all different directions uh, at this point in time. So this is certainly a system that looks like it's going to continue to stay on this track and end up uh, kind of skirting close to the Caribbean. But it, with this time of the year, remember, we have the fronts that keep coming down pretty regularly and those help to kind of steer systems different directions. So we're not exactly confident that this is going to end up making an impact on the US, but there's plenty of other land out here that could be uh, interested in a landfall as this continues to develop. So right now this is just an area of interest. It's Invest 94L. Uh, if it were to develop into a named storm, the next one we have on the list is Nadine. So just kind of keeping you updated on where we are as far as the names are concerned. We have had now kind of getting into a, a busier time of the year. It seems like with our season, it's not over yet. Very typical. We get into October and we do see things begin to sort of slow down just a little bit, but not happening at least so far this year still opportunities, things that are being monitored from the hurricanes that are for potential development. And again, 40% chance that's that's getting there where we, we're thinking that's definitely a possibility of forming into something uh, that we'll keep an eye on, but it's going to be at least several more days before that happens. In the meantime, just as we're beginning to sort of keep ready for our hurricane season with our planning and our supplies. Just remember to check out my YouTube channel as a way to do that with my hurricane gear test. So if you're already watching me on YouTube, it's easy. You just put in meteorologist John Dawson uh, in the search bar. That's the easiest way to find it. You'll get the playlist there and then be able to see all of my hurricane gear tests. Just giving you ideas of ways to kind of refresh your hurricane preparedness plans. Just general emergency preparedness plans uh, overall for year round readiness uh, and then maybe giving you some fresh ideas as well as again reminding you to kind of keep things updated and then maybe some new things that you haven't considered before would be a great idea. All right, that's going to do it for your Sunday afternoon update. We'll see you back here again tomorrow a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time for Monday's update on the tropics.